What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fabric Friday and today we are going to be considering this beautiful style. In this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to cut and to sew this style. Like you know this is Fabric Friday and we do style analysis and style illustration. So if you want to find out how to cut this style, how to go about manipulating the details you can see on this style, definitely keep watching. <music> So, this is the style we are considering today and trust me, I'm not trying to patronize you. This is a dress you can make under 3 hours, give and take. You can make this dress under 3 hours because it's straightforward, it's simple and it's easy. So let's just look at the gown. So I have a gown here, this is not a skirt and blouse, this is a gown. So let's start with the fabric. This fabric looks like rose, looks like satin, so it can either be satin it can be raw silk it can be doll face i think these are the three main options whatever you think this fabric is looking at the picture just let me know in the comment section what texture of fabric you think this is so it is divided into like a blouse and a skirt you know this is a gown and most times our, our gowns come in two comp compartments so the top compartment this is like the bustier is an off shoulder bustier and this is not a princess that bustier this is just a basic bustier and we have the skirt part now the skirt is a flared but this is not a 180 flared neither is it a 360 flared this is more like a pleat flared and that is why this dress is even very easy and simple to sew because you don't even have to wrap your head around you just have to understand the dimension of the flared and you go with it now the bustier this is an off shoulder bustier it is just a basic bustier if you don't if you want to sew this gown the first thing you have to do is cut out a bustier and this bustier didn't stop under it didn't stop like under her, bla, her bust this extended to a little above her her navel this is not on her navel this can be one inch away from her navel point or 1.5 inch away from her navel point depending on what i'm looking at here at most this is two inches away from another point depending on like if i'm saying this thing based on what i'm seeing here if you think what i'm saying is wrong you can let me know in the comment section we can all do our guesses together but this is not a bust here that extended to her navel point if you can see if you can you know look at this thing very well so like i said it's an off shoulder bust here and it's a basic bust here and you have like this um easy yoke sleeve turnover that they used to turn over the neckline this is not actually neckline right now the bust line from the bust line is as it also extended as the sleeve it just sort of you know covered up the bust here and this is a what's the name of this fabric i can't believe i forgot it name of this fabric it is called the funny name is called in Igbo Akwocho see I, I, I can't remember the name of the fabric right now but I'm going to leave the fabric on the on the screen and this is a stretchy fabric so it also helps in case you know you are having like you can make this one a little tighter because you know it's going to stretch you understand so this is an off shoulder bust here a basic bust here with a turnover neckline a turnover shoulder line you know design that also plays the role of a sleeve and it extended from the top of the fabric to the back probably it joined at the zip line you understand now for the pleat this is a key split it's not just a pleat this is a key split and it's not a key split that you know is joined with each other from what i noticed in this gown there is like a five inch gap if i'm not mistaken a five inch gap or let me say four inch gap between each pleat so this is not just like one way pleat this is more like the two way pleat where you pleat this way and you pleat this way and for the gown you can see that it's a little bouncy which means the pleat the pleat is lined so before they start pleating the the fabric they first of all lined the fabric and they did more like a turnover from what i'm seeing at the hem here they did more like a turnover so this is a a a satin that is turned over i'm using a satin because i know this fabric might be satin dull face or raw silk you understand so they did a, a turnover and that is what is making the down part of the gown that is what is making it look bouncy and full it's not just there because sometimes with pleats 
if it's a really light fabric and it's not lined it's just there you know looking all floppy and everything but this one was lined and that is why it's having this bouncy and beautiful effect so like i said there's about a five inch gap between each pleat so by the time they pleat this way and pleat this way before they get to the next pleat let me say there's a five inch gap or a four inch gap before they start the next split and this dress doesn't even have a have up to like seven pleats that's this way and this way it doesn't have up to seven pleats and that's why i tell you that's why i told you that this dress can be made under three hours give and take so this is just the simple way so if you want to sew this dress all you have to do is cut an off shoulder bustier you know sew your bustier get a fabric measure out if like for example me i have a waist 28 so, so for me to do any basic pleat I need about two yards or two and a half yards to do a basic pleat. So maybe for this pleat you need two yards, maybe you need three yards, depending on your waist and the waist dimension. You have to turn over the, 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 the fabric with lining before you even think of pleating it. Then you go ahead to pleat it. When that you are done pleating, make sure you give it a really good press. And for the for the shoulder line, you just I don't know why I'm forgetting the name of this fabric, but I'm just going to leave it on the screen. And this is another fabric, a color that is really close to this one. They just used it to turn over the bust, you know, the bust point, not the bust point, the over shoulder point down to the sleeve. It also said that the sleeve. And now for this place, you might not be seeing a sleeve, but they attached a little strap here that made it possible for them to sew this sort of cape over the shoulder and over the overarm like you know this is an overarm measurement here so they attach like a little sleeve here a little strap here and here that's on the two sides of the sleeve to ensure to make it easy to attach the cape i'm calling this thing over the shoulder cape to make it easy to attach the cape so you're not just seeing a gown that is just with this um, neck turnover no there is a strap sleeve over the arm that ensures that the cape stays in place and doesn't move here and there and it doesn't fall so sometimes when you see this you know neck design some people feel oh there's no strap on that my dear there's strap on that it's not just showing
found this content helpful do well to give this video a thumbs up join the family by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you get notified i don't think i told you my name in this video my name is ada Oju and i'm a nigerian sewing blogger i like to do videos on sewing tutorials sewing tips sewing tricks and fashion business tips so do well to join this family by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you'll be the first person to get notified come back on when come back on tuesdays on thursdays and on fridays for videos and i'll see you in my next bye